You know how we usually get the big pile on Monday? Mm -hmm. We haven't got it yet. No. We'll get it like tomorrow. Maybe. Because it, Monday was a holiday. Something like that. So they were all messed up. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Now, you want me to read these, right? Oh, where would I find one? On my bed. I've got them all hooked onto the monkey fist thing. I'm don't, sorry. Don't cut yourself. I thought I did well to re re get the water here. Right. This is from somebody. Oklahoma City, maybe. W Ford, maybe. I don't know. I haven't got any glasses on. But it does talk about Oklahoma City. Yeah, it'll be styling. Must, must be in Oklahoma. Thank you. You're welcome. She got glasses? I see there's still one that's got the string on it. Did you understand that? Yes, yes, because we. That's a good Janine one. Janine asked you the other day why. <laughs> W. Ford, Oklahoma. Okay. Oh my. That's all yours. Thank you. September. For two chicken bricks. Well, the problem is, I don't have a name. No. You want to write on that? No, I don't have a pot. Yeah, right here. That's why I couldn't find it. It's right there. Okay. W Ford. <laughs> there you go. We'll figure that out. We need to. I, I know that name. We've had that name before. Okay. Payment processing. You know, you know what I've learned? You have to go through the far end, and then out, and then you can get it out easier. Okay. Isn't that an intellectual thing to learn for the day? Yes. Because otherwise, sometimes your stuff gets stuck. See, oh. it comes out nicely. I will add that to my my uh, trivia information. Right. <laughs> okay. Linda Haller, a member of Gracie and Sasha. I assume I got to get that on the. I'm going to need that written down too. L, L Y N D A. And say where she's from. Haller. H A L L E R. Yep. Sandwich Bass. Wants well, a chicken brick. I need the envelope back though. Because I don't have anything to put in here. And then we have Project Turnout Project. Thank you. Worried about democracy. Well, don't, don't throw this away. What, you know, I don't have a chance to read it. Mm. That's another one. That's only one. Was another one? No. Is that a okay? Just counting the envelopes. Uh, abortion access is in your hands. Urgent. I can't cope with it right now. Commerce of business. Last chance. She hasn't been here in ten years, so I guess she missed her chance. Okay, we did that part. Did that. Now what do we do? That's it. You got this thing. Yep, we got that thing. You got it. This is a thing. <clears throat> I don't think I've gotten anything from the Topsfield Fair because I usually slide it in here. I know. I know. You usually do. Soon. Here's another thing we could do a mail call. I mean, a dog fest. Yeah. <laughs> put the harness. Put the harness on her and let her rip. 
No? It, she'd win. Huh? <laughs> she'd win. It would be yeah, amusing. She would. It would be fun. But though. she would definitely win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sound is on. Thank you, Victoria. Crafty would like to know what our thoughts on Pixie's passing yesterday. It was very sad. Um, Not totally unexpected. Right. Yeah, she's, she had a lot of you medical... Know, it, 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 it's horrible to think about, but when you buy an animal, chances are you're going to outlive it. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Except it may be my case. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. Um, get ready. I, you know? Yeah. You give them a happy life, and when it's over, it's over. Yeah. Uh, Crafty wants to know how Pete is today. He was in Ice House for several hours. Pete actually took a um, a turn yesterday and ended up in Woburn. He is, um, oh, what was his diagnosis? Um, IMPA um, relapsed, and he was brought in. He had a temp, he wasn't eating. They increased his prednisone, um, added fluids to him, and pretty much sent him home. So he's here um, until we he's get- here in the backboard? He's in the back, yeah. We had him in the ice, um, but we brought him up here. It's just easier. He's on so much medication that it's just easier for mm. it to be here. Yeah. Um, so he is- um, camera. Yeah, he is on his meds and he is, he's doing good. He ate quite a bit uh, for dinner, very hungrily. Why so. are the things around here eat well? <laughs> <laughs> eat well. Yeah. Get and themselves overweight. Crafty would like to know how the preparations for Dogfest are coming along. They are coming along very, very well. Um, Crafty wants to know, will Jagger be coming to STP? The futon couch in the ice house has been fenced off. So it was fenced off for two reasons. One being Pete, because I didn't want to see him try to get up on that futon and not make it. So he was better off on a, a Karanda. And yes, when Jagger does come after surgery, he also cannot be up on the futon. He will be on a Karanda so that he will be able to get up and down. Um, and When's Mary, he coming? Uh, he is supposed to be coming next Monday. This is from surgery? Yes. Knee? Yes, he's going to get the Dr. Pastor. Okay. He's um, doing his surgery on Sunday, and he will be coming home in the afternoon on Monday. Okay. And he will be with us probably for a good eight weeks. Eight weeks? Holy The, re the recovery time is crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And Mary likes my shirt. Thank you, Mary. I thought it was um pretty cool. Why did you think it was cool? Yeah, I like that big heart. Oh, but it's nothing. I'm not missing a point of some. No, them, it's no. just a big heart. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a big black shirt with a heart on it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, sometimes these people send in some pretty clever stuff. It gets right over my head if I'm not careful. <laughs> Crafty wants to know why the driveway cam has been turned slightly downward so they can no longer see the house. Just by accident. Yeah, it was it wasn't anything that we intentionally the rain? did. Rain. That that the might rain be must it. have greased it. Yeah, <laughs> it was probably so dry. Oh, that was horrible. Um, Anybody is welcome to go put it back up again, but don't expect me to remember. Right. Right. Um, Pika wants to know, hi Lynn and Carlene. Carlene, during animal episodes, did you ever use bats? Bats? No, I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't remember using bats. Hmm. I've had bats. We've had bats in here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Indy Dunes would like to know, how was your day? It was very busy all day. Haul it ass. Actually. <laughs> what I've been doing all day is hauling ass. There, you know, there's been a great turmoil of, of animals getting churned around between Meredith and Olaf's and here. And Pockets was over at Olaf's. They got that new horse from Canada. Yeah. But Pockets was getting very possessive of Olaf's older horse and oh. chasing the new horse away. Oh. So they wanted to get rid of Pockets quick. 
so I had to go pick up pockets, which meant go get the trailer, which had been left over from transporting goats from A to B, mm -hmm. et cetera. So I've, I've been at it all day, really. Yeah. So Pockets is here now? Pockets is here. Okay. And the trailer is stuck on my back of my... No, it's not. I un We unhooked it. We unhooked yes, it. Yes, I was going to say, your car is here. Right. That trailer's behind it. We're in real... <laughs> Boy, know, you're going to have a heck of a time driving that I down I came the up with it once. Did you? Oh, it's awful. It took me like four hours to get out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a... Oh, that'd be terrible. That is quite the tight squeeze. That pizza was not bad. It smells like chicken. <laughs> you like I, chicken? I, I'm hungry. <laughs> Everything smells half like half chicken right now. <laughs> then half a sandwich in there if you want oh. that. <laughs> not only ate half. Oh. Half a half. Okay, um... Bio wants to know, are any of the donated beds in the ice house? Not right now. What's the this? Donated beds in the oh. ice house. No, those are um, those are actually undercover right now. And the ice house, we've got a dog in heat, um, so no beds for her. We had the staples removed out of Sloan, so no no um, beds for him. Um, Why not? But he's going to be moving out. He's going slow and he's going back into the barn. We don't need, we don't need him in ice anymore. Oh. Um, yeah, so no. Those, those beds are nice. They are. But unless you're with them, they are chewable. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have one in my car and then I have one which Colton lies on. Hmm. Um, yeah. I now have, I had three in my car and then we went down to the senior something or other in Ipswich today with four dogs. Oh yeah, that's what you did, that for excitement today. I did that, right, I forgot that. They could not have behaved better. Honestly, I was extremely pleased, and a little bit shocked, but pleased, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> um, I bought them all in, there were people sitting in a, whatever, about 10, 12 people, and they'd been talking about balance and falling and stuff like that, and so I, I, you know, I talked about that, and, uh, how they all had canes. Mm -hmm. You have a cane, you got nothing. Mm -hmm. You have nothing. Mm -hmm. You have maybe forward. Right. But you haven't got any backwards. Mm -mm. Pick it up, right, left. Right. So I pushed the back pocket routine um, and the dogs. Very good. It was interesting. Mm. But then they began to ask questions and I got into some of the stories that you know and I told him the story that's in the newspaper today about George Bush and measuring his crotch <laughs> you know and in the newspaper I put inseam because I thought I had to be very delicate about this but at the bottom of my article for the newspaper I wrote a note to the guy who runs the newspaper I said I usually use the word crotch but I thought it would be politically incorrect he put that in the newspaper also. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody had a good laugh over that. Oh, I bet. Because that's, that's where the hand goes. Yeah, yeah. For these walking dogs, you know. It's, it's yeah, if they can walk with their hand in the back pocket, then yeah. they should be able to walk with yeah. one of our dogs. Yeah. Um, let me see. Gammy wants, uh, says the new curtains in Lynn's office look so light and airy and very nice change. Uh, would it be possible to have a view of them in the closed position so we can see the whole picture that is on them? Thank you. Um, I can actually do that, Gammy, tomorrow. I don't want to block any of the, um, I know the camera likes to look out that window towards the pond area. Um, <laughs> Lady Barbara says, with the glass door open at this time, got double vision before. Yeah, the dogs don't like them closed, but we can leave them closed for a little bit. Uh, Crafty wants to know, is Bianca eating better and fattening up? So she is now eating her nine cups of food a day, but I do mix puppy food in with the adult food. She doesn't get diarrhea with it? Mm -mm. Good. No. Nope. See, she needs it. No. Nope. So uh, she's, been, she's been eating. Good. Yes. Other than the fact we were not allowed in Walmart the other day. She's well, that was fun. <laughs> Yeah. The first thing I thought of was pink envelope letters oh. to Walmart. I was so mad. So mad. 
Texas Toast wants to know what's for dinner. Pizza. <laughs> that I bought sort of one of those made up package deals from Star Market. Uh, it smells like chicken. It smells awesome. <laughs> Um, Taste it. I took a piece of it already. It's pretty good. Uh -huh. uh, Crafty wants to know, have you tested the live, um, the microphone on Puppy Hill to make sure it works for Dog Fest? I thought they had tested that, um, but that is on my, my list. We'll so. just turn it on tomorrow and see what happens. Yeah. Um, and Snittles wants to know, how was Matt feeling after his fall off the horse the other day? Didn't know he, he fell. He had a good one. Yeah. Whose horse? He, his. Well, no, he's breaking a horse, and and um, it, it's not it's not broke yet. So he got on it, and he started to turn it circles as he usually does to keep it, but it spun and it got going, and went out to the rail of this ring he was in, and banged him off the rail, and it's bucking the whole time, and I mean it's really bucking, and he hung in there for I don't know probably half away around the ring, and then he came off. Really. And I kind of stepped on him a little bit, but he. You know, got scratched up and banged up, but it kind of goes with the territory, mm -hmm. you know. I think he's got a great kind of slash on his leg, but it probably hasn't been the first one. No, yeah, I talked to him today. He he didn't mention it. No, <laughs> he, he wasn't walking funny or anything, so that was good. Um. Good morning. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? She at the when she was at this senior place with the balance stuff she wanted to be away from the crowd yeah I get everybody lying down in a nice pattern there and talking about the dogs and how wonderfully behaved they are and she gets up and leaves <laughs> <laughs> she went around behind me and lay down yeah she she doesn't she doesn't like the crowds anymore she just wants to kind of do her thing, and when she's done, she's done, and she just wants to yeah, be alone. Are we alone. done yet? Are we done yet? Can we go home now? Right, right, <laughs> right. And was my cookie? Ah, that's what you say. Yeah, we don't didn't you? have any cookies. That was a large problem. Oh, Roxy's mom wants to know. Hello, Caroline. Can you give us a funny story for one of your animal episode shows? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know. What did I talk about today? I don't know. <laughs> do you do you remember the one that you did for with um, the magician David Copperfield with the three Peking ducks, identical Peking ducks? No. You don't remember that one where you had to go and find three identical Peking ducks? Oh God! And you, then you, they you, you you did that one with me? I don't remember. And oh. they shat all over the U-Haul that we rented. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that was a mess and a half. Um, Some of the things we pulled off. One of my favorites is the, the the sheep nine sheep in a row on a hillside in the in the morning sunrise, and I had to make them all lie down in a row, and I had no idea how I was going to do this. And on the way down there, I remembered duct tape. So I, I bent their leg backwards, which is a normal thing for a sheep to lay. That's how they lay. They lay like that. I just duct taped this so they couldn't get up. <laughs> Pick them up. Put them all in a row. <laughs> that was a good one. There you go. They didn't get up, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't get up. And they weren't hurt. No, you know, there was nothing wrong with what I did. Right. It right. just was awful funny. <laughs> well, that's, that's called uh, thinking on a fly, huh? Yeah. Like, boom. <laughs> All right, um, Anita Fio says the recovery time of eight weeks is what we went through with Barb Marley's t plus patella surgery. No stairs of any kind, no climbing on furniture, had to help him in and out of the house using a sling. Yep, we already got the sling. Not fun. My husband slept on the couch downstairs with him the entire time. Ooh, eight weeks. That's one way to get him out of the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Crafty wants to know, has the pond filled up from the rain this week? I noticed the the sprinklers aren't on again. They're not on? Mm-mm. I'll have to That's hit the bud. I'll have or to no, hit it could the be switch. Here. Yeah. I'll hit the switch, see if it works. Um, BioBC says, yay, Pockets is back. Um, but Tori says, yeah, but without Terrace or Clover. Um, What's this? Oh, Pockets. Pockets. 
Fest yet. Um, oh, I, we, I think we're going to get we're going to get a couple more back for Dog Fest. Yeah. And she also wondered if we wanted the tiny horse. We, there is a tiny horse over there, at Meredith. The little tiny, smaller than Sizzle. Oh, it's smaller than the black little mini horses. Yes. Really. It is a tiny horse. Is it nice? It seems to be nice. Um, <laughs> I haven't handled it, but it, it hadn't killed anybody yet. It's tiny. Wow. It's smaller than her. Um, and it is quite spectacular. Hmm. So they may bring it over for, for part of the dog fest or whatever. Wow. I don't think I want to be responsible for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's living very nicely. It's living with a thoroughbred now. A great big, great big thoroughbred. It's tiny. I mean, I don't think it's that big. Oh, that must be so cute. Where is that in Meredith? Meredith. Wow. It's, right on the, it's in the pasture that's right next to the street too. Okay. So they like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the same one that um, Elvis used to be in. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wow. Hmm. It's tiny. Ah. Uh, fragile too. What? I've only had a little bit of experience with them, and I just, I, I, it's always been bad. <laughs> I, had, I had a friend with a couple. Yeah. They had them in there. They kept them in the house. In the house? Yeah. Oh, you, know, you can't put them outside. They catch pneumonia. They're, they're fragile. So it's like the chihuahua of the horses. You got it. <laughs> Your little coats on them and put them in a oh, little, yeah. little bag, and you can carry them around. <laughs> okay. It's little. B.J. Moose would like to know, is Mowgli a gelding? Oh, yeah, it must be. If it's a boy, it's a gelding. Yeah. A stud that size would be. <laughs> We'd have to pay attention more. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth refers to him as a daft horse. Daft. Now, that's the one that Janine thought something was wrong with him because he's so mellow. She's not used to having a calm horse. That could be. <laughs> He's also the one that had the throat surgery. Yeah. Million dollar throat surgery. Comes back and gets bitten in the throat. I have never had a horse get bitten in the throat before. But of all, at any rate, he seems to be all right. Wow. Um, Crafty wants to know who's in heat. Callie is in heat. Um, she is not, she was one, her and Nessie were ones that we got from Florida. Florida, right, from the German breeder. And Carlene and I were looking at the two girls. We kept them intact because we weren't sure if we were going to keep one of them as breeders. And it turned out that Callie is more leggy, like Jiminy, and Nessie was more stout, like Larky, but shorter. Mm -hmm much shorter um so we were looking at the two of the girls and then it, we just we decided that we were probably going to keep nessie as a breed dog and not callie and next thing you know callie went into heat so she is going to She's be too spayed. young anyway yeah she is going to be spayed in october according to that chart um but she's the one that's in heat right now bio bc wants to know what the four dogs did you take to the nursing home I took Sizzle, mm -hmm. and Malarkey, and Jiminy Cricket, and Moira. Moira. Yeah. And I had a, pro a problem that you all should know about. Uh, I had my three dogs in the car, and Moira comes here, okay, we'll jump in Moira. No, we won't. Not with my three already in there, because Moira was no way going to jump in toward my dogs, because she knows that they're slightly dominant. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't going to take a chance of lunging toward them. Right. So I took Sizzle out. Moira jumped in. Sizzle jumped in, and we're fine. Yep. I think Bianca would be the same way. Would she? I think so because when she comes in here, they get along fine. But when she comes in here, she's very submissive to yeah. you know. Sizz will come over. Bianca will pee, and we're done. Yeah. Life is good. That's right. Yeah. They've had their battle. Or whatever. Yeah, they just have that relationship, and yep. hey, it's been established. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> right. Um, Indy Dune says I must have missed it. Why did Sloan have staples? So he got in a little bit of a tiff with Sloan? Alexis. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was two weeks ago. 
I want to say. So he had some pretty good gashes in the neck um, and they brought him, they stapled, cleaned him up, stapled him and he has been in the ice building. Um, they gave him antibiotics and he healed up. He's, he's good. Whatever happened to that relative of yours that was a veterinarian? Oh, she's still a veterinarian and she's going to be coming here. Huh? She's coming here. Oh. She is, remember I told you my uncle was here? Yes. With my cousin. It's her daughter. So now that she has experienced Crazy Acres, she says, I'm getting Chrissy over here as soon as possible. So she, okay. she is coming. Um, it's just they're working her to the bone right okay, now. They are. Yeah. They, uh, vets don't stay up there very long. No, they don't. And that's because they get the newbies out of vet school. Well, that's good experience. <laughs> yeah. And so she is really trying to commit to a year yeah. before she goes elsewhere but well, you do, you, the amount that they're working her she's like you know yeah it, it, they do that with doctors too but you know it's good experience I, my husband yeah. talked about it many times of the agonies of starting practice and starting up everywhere you just yeah that's called how you get experience yep she and she's getting the experience she says they're lovely to work for yeah but man she says she's trying to eat like a piece of pizza in between you know <laughs> kind of like what we do here you just you know. anything wrong with that yep yeah um so roxy's mom says carlene we're not shocked to hear how well behaved the dogs are when you are out at various places with uh, them they were super and, and people just can't believe that dogs will behave like that. You know, I had, I had, I had leashes on them because you're supposed to. Yeah. I didn't have a hold of the leashes, but they were hanging on they their were neck. On them. <laughs> they were on them. <laughs> they were on them. Um, and we had poop pickers with us because there's a $50 fine in Ipswich if you have a dog with no poop picker. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Jeez. It's, it's, I don't want to get caught by them, you know. No, no, we we've no. Just, we're anyway. staying on the straight and narrow right now. We're we're well, good. A little bit. <laughs> well, we're trying. Anyway, <laughs> they all come in. They just you know, following me in and laid down, and then when I went now went to leave, um, I was still talking to the guy about the fairgrounds, and so I said, well, why don't you just let them, you know, get in the car? And the minute I said the word car, they all pop up. <laughs> so Heather went and opened the door, what her name, went and opened the door and opened the door of the car and all four, three of them ran out and jumped in. Hers wouldn't get in again. We had to start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had to remove. Re right. Move them around. Oh, geez. Yes. Um, Bio BC says, we like the view of the pond too, just like the dogs. Um, Pika wants to know what happened at Walmart. Uh, long story short, Bianca and I were running errands yesterday. She came with me into Walmart. We were approached by an unhappy Walmart greeter who informed us that we needed to have all our certification documentation provided to him and we were not allowed to go into Walmart. And <laughs> yeah, no. I got, no, go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm just going to stop at that. Let, let me just just read my mind the thoughts that we're going through. Um, they are now well aware of the ADA um, laws, service dog laws, what dogs can and cannot go into public places. Um, the CEO of Walmart is now very aware of the laws along with their managers and their voice of customer. So, yeah. That's very nice. Yes. That's very nice. My experience with, I got thrown out of Walmart, but it was legitimate. I had a young puppy with me, and they had a witch, electric witch at the <laughs> door. <laughs> you know, every three minutes. I couldn't get that puppy past that witch. <laughs> and she started barking. Can't bark. Oh. That's a, that's a, that's an ADA thing. You know, it's supposed, to, yeah. supposed to be well behaved and no barking. Yeah. I couldn't shut her up. Oh, geez. The guy said, I'm sorry, but you have to leave. I said, fine. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> but that was, that witch was, that was, I wish we owned it. <laughs> you know, because that would be a good dog training device. Well, I know all those big, scary things yeah. are out right now at Lowe's oh, and yeah. Home Depot. Because we, we also went into Lowe's yesterday to look at something. And yeah, all of those were out there. And Bianca was just like, yeah. 
whatever. Well, they, you, you know. they won't all be that way. Right, right. But see, I know that also around this time of the year, there are Halloween stores, and Haley makes it a point to bring dogs <laughs> there and to activate everything possible and just to get a reaction out of the dogs. And sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Uh -huh. Okay, um, is Pockets with Bud and Forrest or with Mo and the young horse? I don't know. Do you know? Pockets got thrown out in Donkey Cafe, and I don't know who she's with. All right, so she's with... I don't know where the big horse is. Mowgli was in the f first stall. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, things change, like That's the right. weather around here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lila May Pockets wants... could get along with her. I checked with Elizabeth. Elizabeth knows that she knows more about him than I do now. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And she's she talks all the time. The problem is, it's delightful with that Scottish accent, <laughs> but she goes on and on, and I lose track of what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. But I just listen. and sometimes you're still trying to translate the fifth <laughs> word back, and she's our. <laughs> She's yep. super nice, oh. though. I I do do love her. She's great. She's she's, she's quite efficient. Yeah. Um, she just keeps collecting kitchens. Kitchens. <laughs> she came in here and she goes, "Oh, what a gorgeous kitchen! I have one just like it." I said, "Still, we got this one from you." And she goes, "Yeah, I've got another one." <laughs> you know, I collect sunglasses. She collects <laughs> kitchens. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, Pete is not on a prescription diet. He is eating. <laughs> he eats the regular Pro Plan. He has a little bit sometimes of Puppy Pro Plan mixed in. But his favorite thing to mix in it, and this is thank you to Donna, is sardines. He loves sardines. Her dogs eat sardines. Oh, <laughs> I find it revolting, Whatever. but that's okay. It's not up to me. Cindy wants to know, Carlene and Lynn, how long have we known each other? Oh, Ooh. God, not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. What I'm, was our first association? I was brought over here by Meatloaf Paul, Meatloaf. Mm -hmm. and that was when Pippi, you still had Pippi, had her last litter of 15 puppies. Huh. And she... Pippi? Yeah, remember wow. Pippi, yeah. Pippi, that was one of my original dogs. Yeah. You're talking back in 1995. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it must have been around 95 because I had already had my... No, actually, it was before 95 because I had my Zeus, my first Dane, and I was showing him an obedience. Yes, because your email was Zeus. Zeus dog, yep, it's still, yeah. yep, my AOL is still Zeus dog, yep, yeah, huh. yeah. long time, long time, mm. yeah, um. long time, okay, happy Kathy Five, are there any dogs in the family way and who, no, not at this current time, what is that, oh god, that's a doze, oh, Oh, the horse by the way, on. that horse has straight that, teeth. They're chewing on each other's back. That's how they scratch each other. Ah. Well, he, Mowgli's very tall. I wonder, is that... Um, That's Mo. Mo, yeah. Yeah, see. Oh, geez. And they, they describe to each other where it itches. So they both... Yeah, they're, they're lined up, you know, <laughs> and this will go up this way. Okay, they go, you know, and you can watch them, then talk to each other. Well, that's it's really kind of interesting. That's funny. That's awesome that Mowgli gets along so well. All right. It is a pretty weird picture if you didn't know what was going on. Right. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> okay. Crafty says, all veterinarians are overworked now. Oh, are they ever? Oof. Um, her cousin is a vet in Colorado and has mentioned the problem. Yeah. I think it has a lot to do with the pandemic. Oh, yeah. You know, everyone was at home. Everybody was adopting dogs and Everybody had the cats. first child sort of pot. Yep. And now all those all those animals have to get vetted. Yep. Well, they live. They were all on farms. They wouldn't all get vetted. Yeah, that's true. Some would live and some would not. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Crafty says, the phony service dogs have ruined it for everyone. I agree. BioBC says, yay, Lynn, go get them, Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a big circle of my face with a big X mark going it, through that particular bad. one, but that's it's okay. A, it's too bad. I could sort out them all at the airport with that, you're going to walk through there without your dog. You have them say, and you walk through and then call the dog. You would sort them all out because oh, yeah. these fake ones just wouldn't hey. do it. Hey. Oh, look. Finally got done and done. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. People were just asking for you. Yep, they were asking. I so? guess you had a little incident there the other day. Got the oh, yeah. Thrown. Go yeah. ahead, tell five, us about it. Yes. 5,005 views. Here, it's fun to watch it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How are we going to show this on television? I, I mean, I'll hold the phone. Well, you can hold yeah. it up there, I suppose. Um. Well, you can send it to me, and I'll throw it on Explore. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It'll take a few minutes to upload everything, but I can do that. I think they'd like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that we want to hear you, but it's Oh, actually, it, it, was, it was... No, I don't mind. Uh, everybody comes off of Faye right enough, but the cool thing about it was, is like, you know, that same horse bucked me off like a month ago and hurt my knee, and it never really healed. Oh, and when I came off this time, my knee felt better. So oh, I'll Perfect. take it. Perfect. The only thing he did when he got me off this time was uh, he got me with his hoof from my knee to the top of my boot because he actually ricocheted his butt off the fence and then kicked me as he went by. <laughs> but it comes with the job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that's like everybody wants to buy a horse uh, off the internet, off the watching a video. Yeah, that, that kind of worried me. You, you made reference to them buying horses off the video and putting them into a child program. No, 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 no. Oh. No, they said that the horse was broke for a child to ride when they bought it. Yeah, right. Oh. And if I can't ride it, I mean, you must hate your kid. <laughs> Go play in traffic. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right, so here it is. That's just proper editing. Yeah, when they get it all tired and let a kid crawl all okay. over it when it's drugged. Like I can, I can sit and watch some like advertisements for horses for sale, and blow your mind with why they stopped filming when they did. <laughs> like I'll show you my bit. I was holding on so hard it bit, bent the bit. Oh. Because I was giving him a second chance after bucking me off before to try to see. That's a pretty good buck there. It is. <laughs> is that six seconds? That's about 15. <laughs> oh, he's down. <laughs> and there he stepped on me. Man down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Send that Send to that me there. and I will, I'll throw it do on. Do you have what's I do. All right. Wow. No, but doesn't she run some sort of children's program or riding program? No, no, no. This lady, what she does is she does therapy with the horses, which basically you just have a therapy session like outside the stall or outside the paddock. But still, it's the kids involved with these horses. Well, they're not in with the horse. But this one was sold, two horses were sold to this lady saying they were kid broke. <laughs> and... Uh, from Texas and both of them for fifteen hundred dollars well that tells me that they just saw a sucker coming from the Northeast and I'm gonna sell you what I don't want to feed <laughs> you know yeah. because the two are built exactly the same there's just two years difference so what it is is they're full brothers <laughs> right because I found out working <coughs> on those big ranches when when you deal with the same sires being bred to the same mares, the fillies act one way and the boys act a different way. And uh, the head trainer I worked for at Creek Plantation, because we had 68 brood mares, he, he pointed out one mare, he said, now that mare, if she has a filly, 
it'll be a show horse. If she has a stud colt, watch out because he'll peel your shirt off your back. Ooh. But you know, and certain ones are like that. That's why the you know a lot of people that don't know horses don't realize like the papers are so important. A lot of people will be like, well, my horse can't read, you know. <laughs> but it's like when you breed the dogs. If you you breed a a, a female to an attack dog, oh. you might get an attack dog. <laughs> But if you're breeding for good temperament and, and confirmation and all that, so what it is is people just breed whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And like uh, when Obama was in office and shut down the slaughterhouses, everybody thought that was a great thing. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not because it flooded the market. Yeah, now you have and, the crazies. And it used to be, you know, you go to a, a, in that time when they closed them down, like, the sales were just flooded with stuff and say you brought your truck and trailer to a sale yeah. and you waited until they were done you go out to get in your truck and trailer you'd have four horses you didn't buy tied to your trailer because <laughs> yeah, people couldn't get rid of them yeah wow that's why it when it still when bothers people, me that she bought something like that but, well you can't well you can't teach them common sense when they don't well, know horses just, yeah but when they, they you know just be, like using certain horses for therapy like the the woman where I keep my horses No, that's at. a whole different for this woman to be that stupid to buy that Jesus Christ common sense ain't common no more that's like the lady oh. who where I keep my horse and Floyd now uh, she's got two horses that aren't safe you can't trail ride them because they'll come unglued and kill you if a butterfly flies over their head Jesus. or you know, or if a deer pops out of the brush, they lose it. Oh, no. And uh, she asked me, she goes, we were up by the pool the other day, and she goes, my daughter's got this friend that's never been on a horse. And I was just wondering, could you give him a lesson on Tilly? I'm like, the one that bucked me off three months <laughs> ago because it saw a deer? Wait. I was like, I'm not putting my name on that. Mm -mm. I was like, here, why don't you call my friend that actually has lesson horses? You know, your horse is not a lesson horse. Right, right. <laughs> wow. We went to take her, me and Chrissy went to take her on a trail ride one day after I'd worked with the mayor for a couple of weeks. And I was like, just follow us. And just starting out in the woods where you got the dead leaves and branches. She stepped on a branch and then some leaves and started shaking. I was like, okay, get off and go home. <laughs> well, you know, we'll see you back at the barn. But you're not breaking your neck riding with me. <laughs> but, but it's amazing how in Massachusetts or New England period, you know, people will sit there and buy horses off of a video or off of a picture. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, if that thing's broke to ride, and it might be a phenomenal horse, might be a winning show horse even, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be comfortable to you, because I can show you some show horses that look gorgeous, but when you actually sit on their back, it's like you're working a jackhammer in New York City. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I want to ride something like that. Oh, no. Well, there are damn fools. And then there's Janine who bought it from a video where they went up and rode it. Oh, well. In Canada. I, yeah. And I but said, they got I, stuck said I said, watch the swirls on mm -hmm. the forehead. Because if that thing's got a swirl that's up higher, down low, and way off center, that thing is, it can't hold its mind together. It's like, it, I hate to say the word, but it's retarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets to a certain point that. and then just it'll hurt itself it loses its self preservation is what it does certain horses like that lady who where I keep my horses she's got an off the track thoroughbred and before she met me she was so terrified of her own horse she hadn't loped it in six years because if he sees something out of the corner of his eye he's not stopping like I've got him on a psychotic drug right now that keeps him from going to there. Well, you know, <laughs> is it gabapentin? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's called reserpine. <laughs> That's why a lot of people, you know, like if if a horse isn't broke enough for just anybody to ride, 
and it takes an expert rider to ride it, you can't sell it in a place like right. this. Right. And then if it takes so much effort to ride a horse that doesn't want to be ridden, <laughs> how are you going to get rid of it? Right. You know what I mean? And like at least this thing can buck. So I said, hey, why don't we try to find a state nearby that does high school rodeo and here's you a bronc riding horse. Yeah. You know, every horse is good for something. Uh, but, you know, like when you, you hear a lot of people say up here, oh, I just want him to go to a good home. Yeah. Good well, home. Well, the, the horses that, that I'm used to training and people spending all that money on, ain't nobody going to buy that sucker for fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and just stick him out in the backyard and let him starve. So you don't even have to ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, there's a lady right down in uh, Raleigh that she had rode when she was a teenager and now she's in like her late 50s, early 60s and she wants to get into polo ponies. So she bought a horse from out west, which, okay, broke her than East Coast horses, but... It can still be junk. So she bought this horse because there was a video of this lady long trotting it and just swinging that polo mallet, not hitting anything, just swinging it around. Which, okay, that looks pretty good. She gets the horse off the trailer uh, after it's been shipped here from Colorado. It's got an abscess about to burst on its neck because what they did, they tried to dope the horse so they could do her feet. Oh. And they couldn't hit the vein. And if you miss the vein five or six times and keep prodding them, then they'll get an abscess. Mm -hmm. So it got an abscess. Now this thing got delivered in November. Do you know of any sort of bee that is flying around and stinging stuff in November in Colorado? I don't believe it's a thing. <laughs> so she gets this horse, she pays $9,000 for it, $3,500 to ship it up here. And after its neck heals, well, then you can't catch it in the field. So finally, you know, take 30, 45 minutes to catch this horse and get it in the arena. And, you know, they'll tie up to the wall like I do. And I go to get my saddle pad and take after taking the blanket off and this thing. I was like, okay, we got to untie this one and go do some groundwork. Get it all saddled up. Well, go to take the halter and lead rope off to put the bit on, right? Thing runs 20 feet backwards, just spastic. Almost flips over. Wow. And then, after riding it for about 15 minutes of it trying to kill you, then it'll settle down and drop pretty nice after it gets tired. And I'm like, you own this farm. It seems to be pretty nice. One would assume you have money. Here's a tip. When they're broke to ride Go ride the damn thing before you buy it. Right. Because you just wasted $15,000, and guess what? You can't even ride this thing. Yeah. She got uh, another one while I was working for her. I worked with this Appaloosa like five or six times, and then I come like the third time, she's got a broken foot. Mm -hmm. I said, well, what happened? She was like, well, I thought I'd ride her, so I went to take the halter off, and put the bridle on and she reared straight up and then came down and smashed my foot. I was like, well, that worked, didn't it? So then she buys this Palomino that comes off a working cattle ranch in Colorado, which, okay, but what they don't tell you, those boys that work out there on them ranches, they ain't never rode no show stock. They ain't never been trained properly how to ride. They just know how to stay on and rope. Mm -hmm. You know, and they know cows better than they know horses. And the reason those horses don't really buck you off is because they get ridden so damn hard they don't want to buck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're tired, yeah. <laughs> so she gets this horse. She pays 12000 for this one now. And then the 3500 to ship it back here. So she's already got 15000 in this Palomino. supposed to you can rope off of it, shoot off of it, jump through rings of fire. There was a video of this Palomino that was real pretty, jumping through a ring of fire. And this thing shows up off the trailer, and it looked like the Navajo Indians owned this thing in the desert in Arizona, and it's living off a of cactus. Skin and bones, long hair, didn't even look like the horse in the video. Wow. And uh, 
I go to evaluate it, it can't turn left, it can't turn right, it doesn't know how to stop. You can't pick up anything while you're on its back. And, and the thing scared to death, I was like, okay, <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? I said, you keep trying to find something and turn it into a polo pony, just go buy a damn polo pony. Right, at, <laughs> at this point, right. <laughs> But yeah, there she had almost thirty thousand dollars and two worthless horses, and she ended up having to give them both away. Wow! Yeah, you can't yeah. give it away. There's just nothing you can do with a horse you don't want. Wow. Well, that's like some they, people. They I mean, and and when you don't know, it's easy to criticize somebody when you don't know what the hell they know. And we're, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and we all lose our temper, whether you're training dogs, horses, or crickets to shit in a cardboard box, it doesn't matter. But, you know, it's, it's real easy to point the finger and be like, oh, that's wrong, or I wouldn't have done that. Well, come over here and do it. We're on camera. Mm -hmm. You can show us all. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Jeez. <clears throat> Unbelievable. The Colts are doing good in the Tanner barn. Is that where they are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, everybody would like to have them back in the big stall so they can see you. Well, yeah, but I can't put the big horse that's in the big stall, I can't put him out back, and I can't kick him outside and leave him out there because he's so big, he'll hit his head under the tent and get scared. He can't get to the water, so that's why he has to be in there. Okay, is he going to hit his head on the electric thing? No, no, he'll, he'll hit because his I head. Because I don't think we, we've only got He'll one. hit his head on the tent. So he doesn't like to go on the concrete pad, because uh, if he hears something or whatever, his head goes straight up like Scooby-Doo and think, you know. But he can't go in the tanner barn because if he rushes in or out, he'll peel his scalp back, because it's so low. So it's horses; they're stupid. <laughs> if it can happen, it'll happen to a horse. It'll happen to a horse. But I do think in that big stall, only one of those lights has the cage on it. And you know where the other cage is? To the chicken coop. Why would we have a cage in the chicken coop? We have a bunch of those cages though, because we had them in the ice yeah. building, and then we put the we redid the lights, so I can find those because I know we. Uh, I've seen down. them when somebody found like a big like pile of them. There was like ten of them somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But everybody moves stuff around to where no. <laughs> it's like I give up. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I hide my good fork, you know. You can break the bad one, but I'm hiding my good one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, there is one in the chicken coop, but there's no reason to have one there. Right, you know? right. Well, no, I'm not worried about him hitting his head in the big stall or even in the little stall next door. Uh, but that's why I keep him in the big stall. And She's going to take him, I think, in a couple of days. Yeah, he's only supposed to be here a week, and then the Colts will be back over there and it be on camera, but they're they're doing good. I can't believe how well those two get along. Yeah. You know, so they're just like frickin' frack. <laughs> mm -hmm. They eat out of the same bucket, and nobody kicks mm -hmm. at anybody. No, no, they, and they, they get along really well. And they occupy each other enough to where they're not biting on people. So <laughs> it's working out pretty good. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, and when I get them back in the big stall, I haven't uh, I haven't handled them with the halter because the tanner barn's too big and the indoor's too big. So I'll wait until I get them back in the little stall and work with them again so I can teach them how to turn. But when I worked with Forrest, what, last week? Yeah. I mean, he was... You know, they, they've they never been pulled on from their face, and if you scare them, you know, they'll rear up and run into the wall and all this stuff, which he did once, and then he figured out that was the wrong answer. Take the hay bag down first. Well, no, that's like that's like padding, you know. To look at a foot stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> right. but, but no, at the end of it, he was just following me around like a puppy dog, so that's good. Good. Wow. They're just playful, but Jesus. Yeah. Well, you just... You got to know how they move and what they tend to do. Like, colts will always, babies will always be quick to turn their ass and kick at you because everything's new to them. You know, they don't want to rear up and strike you. And if they do rear up, they're they're just playing and they don't know any better. You know, 
Uh, it's not like malicious, like petting their. Well, yeah, it still hurts. That's why you gotta womp them on the ass and say, "Hey, that's enough of that," because I don't need you getting fifteen hundred, two thousand pounds and thinking that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, pockets, pockets is back. Yeah. Yes, I bought her back today. You had to buy your own mule back. Huh? You had to buy your own animal back? No. No, you, no, she just had to go and pick it up. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought she said she had to buy her own mule back. Oh, no. <laughs> well. You thought you had to buy it, buy her back, like oh, you no. had sold her. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh, she was over at Olaf's. Oh, okay. So when the horse came in from Canada, he only had two stalls or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I bet she liked it over there. He's got a nice place. Well, she'd gotten out and gone to the high school once already. <laughs> So Tori wants to know, Matt, will you be at Dog Fest and will you be entertaining us again with your roping skills? Yeah, I plan on being here at Dog Fest and yeah, I still have a rope, so. <laughs> and he still has skills. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we still got the steer's head? I still have the steer's head. Wow. And we have hay. And we got oh, hay. We got plenty well, there of you hay. go. We'll just piece it all together. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, share that video with me so I can get that oh. on Explore. Mm -hmm. And we're going to call it a night. It is almost 6 o'clock. Okay. And just watch for the video. That will be coming up soon. What's your number? Okay. 603-770-0849. Okay, I'm going to shut this down. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.